What's going on, guys? Are you ready for the best freight car review I have done all year? And we are the last day of 2023. And I have saved the best for last. We are doing not one, but two different freight cars. But they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Trust me. I have the Atlas O Premier Western Pacific. Oh, yeah. Crane car or a Derek crane. And I have the crane tender car that goes with it. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. So let's not waste any more of y'all's time. Let's go. All right. Let's get down to business. So this is Western Pacific Maintenance of Way number 37, Derek Crane. Originally created by the Industrial Brown Hoist in 1937 as initially steam powered, she was eventually converted to diesel power in 1971. She has a maximum lifting capability of 200 tons. So we have here pictured the Derek Crane idler car, which originally was gondola number 6553. And on the end, historically, it has a PS1 boxcar to create a little house for maintenance of white personnel. So check this out. This is the actual Western Pacific Maintenance of Weight number 37 and number 37-1 or basically the Boom Idler car for number 37 here. And unfortunately it's painted in UP colors but I'm here with my buddy who still works for UP and this was taken around July of 2022. I mean it's really a blessing that we have both the actual crane and the tender with it as well. So that's really cool. And you can still see it today at the Western Pacific Railroad Museum. I highly recommend it and let them know I sent you. Wipe out trains. Historical inaccuracies aside, this is still a beautifully made car. And I'm really happy that we have the correct Western Pacific maintenance of way color for both the idler and the crane car itself. So I was really surprised on the length of these cars put together. So I took it out and I checked that it was 25 inches long in total. So now since I got the length, I want to see the weight. And the weight for the idler is 1 pound, 2.7 ounces. And for the crane car itself, it is 2 pounds, 2.3 ounces. With both on the scale, weighs into 3 pounds, 5.1 ounces. So, let's begin the review of the idler car. So we have this beautiful back end here. So we have our brake wheel. We have our simulated chain going down. We have the separately applied grab irons here. We have this actual functioning chain here. The metal ladder going down. The air hose assembly and the coupler. And you have the angle cock for the air and the air hose itself. So on the right side, we could see the beautiful little end part of the car. So we have our stir step, our separately acquired metal grab irons, and you're just gonna see how much of these awesome grab irons are gonna be on this car. So we have more here, simulated roof. These windows are kind of like foggy, but they do light up inside have our Western Pacific Herald here and all the separately applied metal grab irons. We have the chimney, very nice touch, more separately applied metal grab irons, and just the rivet detail on the bottom of the car. These cars are individually sprung, the trucks are sprung, so watch this, here we go. It does bend slightly, which is a nice feature. So to the front of the car here, we have the simulated wood detail, you can see much clearer. So we have more separately applied metal grab irons here. We have the door that unfortunately does not open. And we have more windows right up here. And we have the better look at the chimney. And we have the simulated wood walkway on the top of the car up here. So I want to take a quick second to just look at this beautiful wood detail up here. I know it's plastic and all, but it just makes it look really convincing of this wood detail. So now we have our Western Pacific identification number for maintenance of way, number 37. 
and we have our separately applied metal grab iron and our stir step and our sprung trucks here as well. So again, we have this amazing wood detail throughout the entire car. We'll see a little bit later, but we have our metal grab iron separately applied. Again, I'm going to be saying a lot today. We have our angle cock and our air hose assembly here, which is very nice, and our coupler. Again, I want you guys to see this wonderful simulated wood detail on the top of the car. These panels unfortunately do not open, they are molded into the plastic. And now we can see the top of the little house out here. So we have the simulated wood roof detail, the separately applied metal grab irons, and the continuation of the walkway. And now for the beast, the thing you've come to see. This Derek car is absolutely wonderful. An absolute gem of my collection. And it commands its presence wherever it goes or whoever sees it. The amount of detail in this car is just out of this world. Like all the separately applied metal grab irons on just the base of the crane Derek car is absolutely unreal. And you're all going to see it. And I'm really, really excited to showcase this crane car. But you're definitely going to be hearing a lot of separately applied metal grab irons because it's just the way that it is. But it's still amazing. Here we are showcasing the boom of the car. And we have our three hooks here. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I don't understand or I don't know the three type of hooks so if you do, please let me know, but I definitely know one of these has the 200 ton hook. I just don't know which one. But here we have the nice rivet detail on the actual boom itself. So on the left side of the boom, we now see all that rivet detail, which is on basically on the other side as well. Right here would be the industrial brown hoist logo, which I definitely will probably put there eventually. And again, we also have the simulated uh, cables here that definitely are functional, which is nice. And we have our stir step here, our metal grab irons, both sides, which is very nice. All right, so now to the actual car. So we have our die cast metal trucks here, our separately applied metal grab irons, not the last time you'll hear me say this right now, the WP Herald, the molded in detail here for the for the tools, windows, the mechanism to move the hook up and down, I will showcase in a moment. The step here, the separately applied metal grab irons here. The separately applied metal grab irons here, the die cast metal trucks. And the Western Pacific identification number, the stir step, more detail and the vents. All right, now to the back of the car. We have our separately applied metal grab iron here and here. And what's really cool, we have a molded in coupler cut bar. And we have our six separately applied metal grab irons here and obviously the coupler. All right, so transitioning to the right side, it's nearly identical. So we have the windows here this actually activates the actual boom arm of the car. So we have our two separately applied metal grab irons here, our step, another grab iron, more detail here, our WP identification number, and this one too, the bigger one, separately applied metal grab iron, another stir step, our die cast metal trucks, our herald, the door that actually activates the car, but it does not open. More separately applied metal grab irons. And there's more here. And our stir step. So I'm going to showcase the boom arm going up and down.
And so here we can just see the, the minimal amount of detail under the car, which isn't much, but that's okay. But here we have the underside of the boom arm itself, which is functional, does its purpose to help give the illusion of working on a massive boom. But I just thought I wanted to show this as well. And what's really cool about this car is when you move the whole boom, it actually notches. There we go. There they are. And they can go and rotate 360 degrees, but my little studio only allows me for so much before I'm moving all of the equipment out of the way. So I did what I could. To show you how massive this Derek crane is, take a look at it side by side next to a post-war-esque Western Pacific boom car like that right there. I mean, just look at the size difference. The smokestack just touches, on the post-war version, just touches the top of the roof. I thought I'd showcase this a little bit. So now let's get down to the running session. Jim, we're taking this skyward. Let's be careful here. Nice, slow, and easy. We don't want to damage this piece of junk more than it already has. Nice job, Jim. And that's it guys oh my gosh this was so awesome this is by far one of the coolest freight cars I have now in my collection not just because it's Western Pacific that's not the reason but it's just it's a crane car a scale crane car and the tender that goes along with it that just absolutely elevates any maintenance of way scene that you want to have on your layout because now I gotta pony up and buy the Lionel cars that go along with a maintenance of weight train. There's about four of them, so that's probably the next big thing I'm going for. But I just want to say thank you guys so much. You guys got to the end of this video, and I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know this is a little bit longer of a video, but I wanted to make sure that all the details were shown to you guys and gals, because I love you guys. And I just want to wish you guys a happy new year and all that, and hopefully you guys and gals get some great deals coming your way and 2024. Crazy. Really weird to say that now, you know? Alright. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.